Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So today I have found the brattiest kid you'll ever meet. This kid were on the Dr. Phil show, which is basically the American version of Jeremy Kyle, for a very stupid reason. You wrote in to me. Tell me what you wanted me to get straight with your mom. I want my mom to understand that I can't live off of $1,000 a month and I grew up on a certain lifestyle. She can't just take that away from me immediately. Is that lifestyle being a spoiled brat by any chance? She can't live off a grand a month. Like, I'm sorry, any normal person can live off a grand a month. And she's not doing anything to earn this, it's just like pocket money. She's getting a grand for doing bugger all. And I grew up on it, it's all I ever know. I can't deal with this. And so, I came to you for help. She's come on his show because she wants to get a mum to give her more money. Is that all you gotta do? I might give that a go. Mum? What? I want two and a half grand a month for on taking you on Dr. Phil's show. She's not, she works all the time. She doesn't do anything for me. She doesn't drive me anywhere. And so other people would have their moms like drive them places, buy them food, make them food, but I have to do everything myself and I need the funds for that. What the bloody hell is she eating? Is she eating stuff that's covered in gold or something? I'm pretty sure food doesn't cost that much. So do you do that it, it, when you, when you have the money, are you in there in the kitchen frying up stuff and mixing up no, batter? No, I'm buying and... food. So you eat out a lot? Yeah. yeah. I make food at home, but then I get bored of just... I don't like cooking because it just makes a huge mess, and then my mom gets mad at me. And yeah. I don't like cleaning up the huge mess and doing the dishes. And then I just don't like eating at home because it's the same boring food. Getting your kids to do dishes. Just slavery in my eyes. I'd be surprised if child services didn't get onto them for that. You say she's out there for you. How do you get to school every day? I do online school. I don't go to school. Or... You don't go to school? Is it me or did our mate Phil find that funny? Yeah, how's she doing? She's doing okay. I had to push her a little bit to get some of those grades up. If only it was a literal push and she just fell flat on her face. You want a G-Wagon for oh, your yeah. 16th I, birthday? I need my G-Wagon. There's no question. I need it. It's a bloody requirement. There's no question. Yeah. You need that. Yeah. My mom's buying a Bentley for herself. Why can't I get a G-Wagon? Um, why do you need a G-Wagon? I just, I really want the G-Wagon. She needs it because she wants it. They're just, the interior is so nice and there's, there's no blind spots at all. Like it's so big and open. There's so much trunk space. It's amazing. And they look yeah. so nice inside. And I, I really want a nice car. She wants to give me a Mercedes C-Class. <laughs> I, I will accept that car. No, I would. I started no, no, with no, a Honda listen, or a Toyota and then listen, it barely gets. I will be happy with that car, but Bitch. the thing is, I want. I'd be happy with a 150 quid Ford car. Gets me from A to B. I wouldn't give a crap. So we started with a, like a Honda or a Toyota. I got. I started Absolutely with a Toyota. Absolutely not. I will not be driving anything that can be considered an Uber X. An, a what? An Uber X. An Uber X? Yes, we're going Uber Lux and above. My car doesn't cost $231,000. Why not? I mean, why doesn't it? That just seems like an exorbitant amount to spend on a car. It just seemed foolish to me. I, wouldn't, I just wouldn't spend it on a car. And because unlike you, Philip has half a brain cell that still works. Well, I, I want to. We're talking so, about me here. Yeah, this is so. my show. <clears throat> and I'm thinking it's called the Dr. Phil show. I, I must be wrong. I mean, it even says it in bottom left. Clearly the editors have got it wrong. But there's more. They go around her house and she shows off her wealth, as 15-year-old kids do nowadays. It's not like I'm 40, but I'm only two years older than her. I have these two Chanel wallets. This one's my favorite because it really goes with this purse. I have raised a true Beverly Hills brat. Nicolette is the definition of a true Beverly Hills brat. That is so hard to say. I went to amazing schools. I had a driver. I had a nanny, personal trainer. She had a personal trainer when she was 15. Sorry, Nicolette, forgot you were a chuffing weapon. Some months her credit card bills would be 10,000. I just paid the bill. Nicolette had an allowance of $5,000 a month to cover her expenses. And why would you pay it? Well, I mean, I know you legally have to, but at least try and get her to pay it. I have some $5,000 Chanel bags, a couple of those. This is my favorite bag. It's a Celine micro luggage tote. I keep it on a chair because it's just so special. It's about $3,000 and I literally think of it as my own child. She takes it out for walks, you know, puts it in a pram, beads it, keeps it warm. You know, it's winter because it gets a bit cold. These are my favorite pair of heels. They're Valentinos. I love them so much. I really like this piece. It's Louis Vuitton. I know I'm a spoiled brat, but I enjoy the lifestyle, you know? People are going to hate on me, but they wish they were me. I mean, to be fair, I have always wanted my own pair of Valentino heels. Anyone who says I couldn't rock them would be lying. Now my spending allowance per month is $1,000.
I feel like a peasant. You feel like a peasant. I don't get a scratch on what you get. What's that make me? Dead? I can't live like this anymore. I'm always out of money. If you ask me, I think my mom should be giving me at least 2,500 a month just to cover my basic expenses. I need money to buy clothes. I need money to buy shoes. Notice how when she was with Dr. Phil, she was like, I need this money to buy myself some food. But yet here, there was no mention of food. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I've had enough. It's best to end it before I get too triggered. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment, because why not? And I'll see you guys later.